Bringing down the barriers. The European Union is made up of 28 countries, but is not to be confused with the geographical area Europe, which according to some people extends all the way to Russia. The EU is constructed on a political and economic basis. The creation of the single market and the free movement of goods and services is one of its achievements. Having successfully brought down the customs barriers within the EU, the 28 would like to enlarge towards the east. Ukraine, Moldavia and Georgia are all countries which have recently signed free trade agreements with the EU. These countries all make up part of geographic Europe. Ukraine is by far the biggest of the three countries. Its land area is larger than France's and has a population of 45 million inhabitants. Almost a third of all Ukrainian trade is with the West and the EU. Trade with the big next-door neighbour Russia comprises 20%. China is the next biggest trading partner at 7%. A free trade area with Ukraine would open up an economy of 487 million euros per year to Ukrainian exporters and an economy of 391 million euros per year for EU exporters. Moldova, a country bordering Ukraine and Romania, has 3.6 million inhabitants and conducts more than half of its foreign trade with the EU. Only 15% of its trade is with Ukraine and 12% with Russia. Georgia is situated in the Caucasus and its inhabitants number less than 5 million. Europe is its biggest trading partner. The 28 EU countries together make up 29% of its foreign trade. Turkey 14%, while China's share is over 8%. So it's easy to see why Europe is so important for these countries. The European strategy of opening up towards the east has been realized by the signing of an eastern partnership with Armenia, Azerbaijan, Georgia, Moldova, Ukraine and Belarus.